All right, Spot Hog, Fast Eddie XL, and Ultra View UV3. Just wanted to make this video because I haven't seen much as far as people putting these scopes on a Spot Hog. First of all, I just want to show the size difference here. As you can see, the uh, Spot Hog is quite a bit bigger than the UV3 scope housing. Why that matters is because it might affect your peep sight size. Like for me personally, I shoot with the Spot Hog scope uh, ring, ring scope, and uh, obviously that's a huge, huge difference. Helps fill out the peep sight if you have this ring on there. So I'm probably gonna need to get a different peep sight, but something to keep in mind. As far as getting this off, just twist this off. I uh, already loosened it, so it might be a little more difficult for you. Once you get that off, come over to the UltraView scope here. Now, I think they said you just need to loosen this bottom one on on this side, opposite side of the light kit. But I noticed if you loosen this too, it helps come out a little easier. The reason why you take that off is because you got to drop your bolt through this side over to this side. It's the same bolt that they use for the... Uh, CBE scopes. You just take your nut here, screw this on. I don't know about you guys, but Ultraview does a really good job at convincing me I need all their products. Like I bought their uh, release. I mean, I have a whole bunch of releases, but they convinced me I needed that release because it was doing magical things. It is really a nice release, but uh, same thing with the scope housing. It's like, okay. What's wrong with what's wrong with my uh, spot hog scope? You know nothing, but apparently this UV3 scope it does magic. So you know it's just they're really good at marketing their products, I guess, making you feel like yeah, yeah, I really need that. So kudos to them. Obviously, I'm just coming in from this side down into here, just tightening this. Okay, the nut got tight there. I notice you get down this way you kind of want to get this nut down this down towards the scope here. What you don't want to do is when you start getting it tight is use the uh, scope housing to twist it the last little bit. I did that earlier and it uh, kind of beveled out my scope housing a little bit. You probably can't see it but So what's good now is this is tight, which I think this is what we want. Might not be lined up perfectly though. Might have to adjust it. Probably be better off with a right size wrench here. There's gonna be some adjusting when you get down here. Now this is tight, but it's still going through. It's good. This might work out better than the last time I did this. Um but there's definitely going to need to be some adjusting when you get this down on here. Let's see, getting closer. The nut might not line up with the grooves perfectly yet. Um, we'll see. So that's pretty much tight there. How are we doing for... Eh, it's not bad. Maybe a little bit crooked. But you don't want to take this and twist this tight because it will bevel out your uh, your scope there, the housing inside there, which you don't really want to do to a $200 scope, I'll tell you that. Now I noticed these screws always kind of tighten on me. Maybe that's why in the videos you see that they kind of have trouble putting the the pin housing back in because it's like these somehow just twist themselves tight a little bit. Alright, let's put this back through. There we go. Yep. Tighten these back down. I'll tighten them later, but there we go. That's the UV3 on a Spot Hog site. 
Now again, I don't know how obvious it is in the camera, but it's definitely a difference in size here. So just something to keep in mind. All right, there it is.